Hello traders, I'm Orlando for Tradimo. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we upload high value content every single day. In this video you're going to learn how to use the market profile and the volume profile profitably for your trading. This is the exact same way I use the volume profile when I'm hunting for high probability setups. The volume profile is the key to find high value zones in your charts. So why don't we move forward and start looking at how I use the market profile every single day. This is a Bitcoin chart or a Bitcoin versus the US dollar chart. And the reason I'm using the Bitcoin chart is because I want to show you that you can use the volume profile on any single market that you are trading. You can use it on cryptocurrencies, you can use it on Forex, you can use it on stocks and you can use it on futures and the reason that you can use it on any single market that you are trading is because what the volume profile shows you are the zones on your chart where the most volume has been traded in the past on uh, a, a single session or over a specific period of time so I'm going to show you three different ways to use the market profile and then I'm going to apply it to a forex chart, a futures chart and on a stocks chart. So let's start. The easiest way to get, to get the uh, volume profile is to go to trading view and click on indicators once you have the chart that you want to analyze. Then you go right here to volume profile and you're going to see that you have a fixed range a session volume and a visible range so we're going to start by using this the fixed range when you click on, fi on fixed range you are going to have to choose a specific period of time on your chart so we are going to start uh, by clicking on the last candle and then moving the mouse to um, the previous low because we want to analyze where the volume has been traded in the past sessions all right, so uh, we're going to start by analyzing the entire the entire um, month worth of volume. All right, during June 2019, the most volume was traded right here at the 7804 level. The 7804 level is the point of control. The point of control is the exact level where the most volume has been traded in th in this case in the last month because we are looking at the volume profile of the last month so basically what the volume profile is telling me is that right here at these levels let me show you by bringing up my brush right here at these levels is where buyers were found and where buyers start started to buy Bitcoin, thus the rally up to the 14,000 level. Now, because what we want to do with the volume profile is to hunt for entries, what we're going to do right now is we are going to look at the volume profile over the past few sessions or over the past week. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the volume profile and then bring the um, range to June 22nd or the past week or so. All right. Now, this is interesting. OK. And the reason this is interesting, I'm going to zoom in on my chart. And the reason this is interesting is because now that we are looking at the past week worth of price action, and we are analyzing the volume of the past week worth of price action, you can see that the point of control has changed. And the reason that the point of control has changed is because now the volume that the indicator is analyzing is just this fixed range right here. All right. And uh, the reason we are analyzing just this fixed range is because we are hunting for an entry in Bitcoin. We already saw that buyers were found all the way down around the th the seventy, the uh, 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 seven hundred and fifth, seven seven thousand five hundred level, and we've had a rally all the way to the fourteen thousand level, and now we are hunting for a uh, deep buy, or in other terms, we are hunting 
for a long entry on a um, pullback and the way we hunt we hunt entries on a pullback is we want to enter at a high value zone and a high value zone has two specific characteristics it's a previous zone where price has either um, found support or resistance and is a is a zone of previous high volume in this case we have both so I'm going to use a horizontal line and um, you can see that the price in Bitcoin broke above the 10,500 level it found support countless times right here before it picked around the 14,000 and then tested this level again all right it moved up to the 12,500 level and now we are testing this level again so the two characteristics for a high value zone are met okay now I'm going to eliminate the brush uh, circles right now and we are going to continue the analysis of the volume profile on this chart of Bitcoin so we already saw that we have bounced from the high value zone once and twice so we do have what seems to be another opportunity of a long position because this is where the high volume is being traded in Bitcoin okay if we break below this this um, high value zone and below the previous lows around the, the 10,300 level then uh, sellers have taken control of the market because remember the point of control is giving us the zone where the max volume is being traded at the moment thus here we have the battle between buyers and sellers if price breaks below the point of control sellers are in control and we are in a in a short-term bearish market and if price breaks above the point of control we are now in a short-term bullish market this is why looking at the volume profile is so important when analyzing your charts now once you figure out the, your value zone with the with the market profile you have to look at the market profile for possible zones and in this case resistance because we are looking at a buy position and the way you look at uh, the market profiles for possible zones of resistance is that you look at this exact uh, histogram right here the histogram represents the actual volume traded the up volume is painted in blue and the down volume is painted in yellow this means that at this exact level that I'm going to point out with a horizontal ray is where we might find heavy resistance because this is where sellers have started taking control of the market in the past sessions you can see that we are halfway between buyers and sellers sellers in control sellers in control sellers in control and then the volume decreases but this level is where we are definitely going to be finding resistance if we move to the upside and this is why it's so important to look at volume when you are analyzing your charts the volume profile brings you the exact levels where big money might be positioned and gives you an insight on where to find these high value zones to follow big money and this is the exact analysis that I send our premium members every single day on all the instruments that we trade together if you want to go pro and get these exact analysis every single day there is a link below this video where you can get our premium subscriptions with a 50% off and remember if you found this video helpful give it a like 
and subscribe to our channel because we upload this kind of content every single day. Don't forget to turn on the notifications to our channel so you get notified every single time we do. Until the next time, goodbye.